owning a physical DVD collection can bring joy, but it can also come with certain drawbacks, such as significant storage space, being unable to access your DVD content anywhere you want, wear and tear, which will happen to DVDs over time, time consumption for organizing the DVDs, and being incompatible for future use. That's why in today's video, I'm going to show you an application which offers a convenient solution to these pain points by providing a way to digitize your DVD collection, making it easier to store, access, and preserve your favorite movies and TV shows. This app is called MacX DVD Reaper Pro. This is for Mac. If you're using Windows, it's called WinX DVD Reaper Pro. To get the app, just go to its website and click on download free trial here. I already downloaded and installed it. Once you've completed downloading and installing it, you're good to go. Next, just open it. Here is the look of the app. With this app installed, you can convert all the physical DVDs that you own into digitized versions to store it on your computer or on your smartphone or tablets and you can watch it on the go. So let me demonstrate how to convert your physical DVD to MP4 format. So just insert your DVD into a DVD drive and at the top menu here, you may see three different options, DVD disc, folder, and ISO. So because I'm using a physical DVD, so I click on DVD disc, and it automatically selects my DVD disc, which is 12K Animals Film. You just leave everything like that and click on OK. And here is the output profile. This app supports the conversion to more than 100 different formats. For example, you can click on general profiles and choose the device you want, like iPhone, iPad, Android phone, MOV video, M4V, MPEG4, or just back your DVD up as the DVD backup format, for example, like full DVD title, copy, clone your DVD to ISO file, and so on. Or just select your specific device like Apple devices, Android Pad, Android Mobile, Microsoft device, Sony device, and other devices. Or just select web video profile like YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, and so on. So for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to convert the physical DVD to MP4 video format, which is the first one right here. This is the recommended format because it is supported by most of devices on the market right now. So I select that and click on done. You can adjust or make changes to the video before you actually convert it. So right here you can see the setting logo, click on it. So here you can make changes to video options and audio options. For video codec, it's automatically selected H264, frame rate, resolution, and aspect ratio. They all keep original. You can make changes to it. It's up to you. By resolution, you can select like 1920 by 1080 or you can just keep it original and for audio options i would leave everything like that i don't want to change it but if you know what you're doing you can make changes to it and once you're done you click on ok next if you want to rename the output file you can do so as well right now they put 12k animals film let's say i want to rename it to beloved animals and click on ok you can see now the name has been changed and if you want to cut some part of the video out, you can also do so as well by clicking on edit here. So we have subtitle, if you want to add subtitle to it, trim, crop. So for trim, you have to click enable it first and then click on when you want it to start. For example, I want it to start at 10 minutes and at 1.30. So the video output will start from minute number 10 all the way to 1 hour and 30 minutes. The rest of it will be trimmed. So click on done. So you can see here, it shows you the new minute that it will start from minute number 10 all the way to minute 1 hour and 30 minutes. Next, you can also make changes to the destination folder where you want the output video to be saved. So right here, it's selected desktop already, but if you want to make changes to the destination folder, you can also select there. But I just leave it on desktop for easy access. Last but not least, we'll take a look at the right hand side right here. So we have hardware encoder. So currently it ticks this because my Mac is running Intel processor. So if your computer is using one of the supported processors like Intel, AMD, NVD and so on, it will automatically tick this. And what it does is that it makes use of hardware encoder to make the conversion process faster, saving you more time. And right here we have 
and an option to use high quality engine it's recommended to tick this as well so that it will help to convert the video in a high quality mode for cpu core use because it detects that my imac only has four core cpu that's why it only is like four if you're using a modern macbook or imac with more cpu cores it will allow you to select more cpu cores so that of course it will help to convert a lot faster once you find everything satisfying it's time to click on run to start the conversion process so it won't take long just sit tight and relax okay you can see that the process of converting the video has been completed let's take a look at the video it's right here we love it animals okay let's take a look at it Okay, you can see that the video works fine. So as you can see here, that with Mac Activity Reaper Pro, you can conveniently convert all your physical DVD collections into digital formats to store on your computer for easy access. If you're interested in the app, all the links are in the description, you can check them out. And especially right now, there's a good opportunity that you will get a massive discount. Right now, it gives you a 40% discount if you purchase right now. The price is only $39.95 compared to the previous price, which is $65.95. So if you purchase it now, you're going to save a lot, like half. And they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not happy with it. Okay, that's it, guys. This is WinAct or Mac Act DVD Ripper Pro, one of the best apps to convert physical DVDs into digital formats. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.